posterior shoulder endurance test. And there are two versions of this test in the literature, an isotonic and an isometric version. The isotonic version is referenced in the Byrne consensus statement but has no established validity. And the test itself measures fatigue in multiple posterior shoulder muscles, so upper traps, middle traps, lower traps, infraspinatus and posterior deltoid. But posterior deltoid is likely to be the prime mover here. And it's worth considering that there isn't any established IKD muscular endurance gold standard for horizontal abduction to compare the posterior shoulder endurance test to and to perhaps substantiate its name. So it's just worth remembering. For the isotonic version, you've got um, the arm moving in the position shown in this video controlled by an up and down recorded voice note or sort of 60 hertz metronome. You raise on the first beat, hold for one beat and lower on the next. The external load is 2% of your body weight to the nearest 0.5 kilograms and you do reps to failure. You stop the test or you terminate the test. If you can't keep the arm at 90 degrees in the horizontal plane, you lose rhythm with the metronome or you exhibit compensatory movement patterns. Evans in 2020 describes an isometric version. For this, you can see the top picture, the arms held against a standalone target and time to failure is recorded using a stopwatch. The external load for men is 2.05 to 2.5 kilograms and for women, 1.36 to 1.5 kilograms.